Welcome to day number 125. About to have breakfast. And in this in his room, the host where he is where we had dinner last night and uh, about to get ready with uh, Inez, French uh, uh, woman who is walking a bit slower and we have to walk uh, this group will go together to the next place which is 37 kilometers away partially why we are starting early it's just to yeah get going earlier start so we can finish earlier maybe she needs to take it easy then maybe that's good for me as well <laughs> so yeah. but uh, day 125 will start very soon what's up folks day 125 has just begun and I have a French companion with me today. Hello. <laughs> Inez from, uh, where, where are you from in France? Paris. Paris, okay. So she walked from Paris and went to uh, Le Pri, which is Le Pri? Le Pri. Le Pri is the name. What is the name of the town? Where, you uh, where, you where? Like we go? No, uh, where you went to from Paris? Uh, to uh, Saint-Jacques. Yeah, but before, where you... Where the other guys started too? Ah, Le Puy. Le, yes, Puy. Le Puy. So that's another, uh, besides Saint Jean Pied de Port, that's probably another another main pilgrim hub. Um, and the other uh, three guys, they also uh, started there. So we have all walked far, so that's really cool. So uh, today we have started at 7 o'clock to make 37 kilometers because that's the only place we can <laughs> sleep. So, uh, so a bit of a challenging, uh, long challenging day, but uh, yeah, that's why we started early, so we can at least arrive in a decent time. So yeah, but a good, the, war, or the weather will be with us with the sun, and, and it's not too cold. So. Where are we going here? It will be good. The sun is coming. What's up folks? Day 125 has started well. We are now in the light, in the light of things. The sun's coming up and uh, we walk for uh, closer to one and a half hours now. Just having a pee break and uh, we'll continue. So it's good. I feel pretty good today. A bit worried last night about everything. The host that uh, you just saw a picture of, he uh, <laughs> he's in a really good state. He's very present so makes it very uh, very very easy to be around him so uh really good um good to have a companion this morning and uh good to be around a guys group of group of people here uh, also uh tonight so and the good good news is that burgos is opening uh up so that means that we can uh, stay there probably and walk through so and we'll get there after tomorrow the day after tomorrow so so that's the good news really good news it also means that I can buy some gloves. They have probably have some stores there. I hate having a mask on. But you, you know I find there's uh, something there, see? Uh, I can look and... So three hours walking, a little bit of a break earlier in Belorado. We have about 24, 25 huh? kilometers left. Not big. To the, yeah, we were not walking far today because that's the only option we have for sleeping somewhere. So um, then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Do you brings. think that's true? Uh, only 550. But a Spanish guy have said that Burgos is open. I've heard from someone else who have heard from a Spanish guy that that it's not, it's not or something? I don't know. It's hard to know. A lot of pilgrims on the trail on this windy day, getting used to the landscape of how it will be when we uh, get past Burgos. Because it's going to be flat and very different. These hills that you see here will be nowhere in sight. It will just be flat as a pancake for, yeah, about a week or more. So I look forward to that. The most challenging time on the Camino, the Meseta. And you 
could have it all My sweetest friend I uh, slept in this albergue in 2014 and uh, that was one of the best albergues I think uh, inside he has a lot of medieval stuff um, and a lot of cool things and uh, we were our little group here that was a, a lot of fun really good uh, good guy in there alone again the French uh, girl uh, said I'm a turtle and then we uh, sort of quickly after that walked apart I guess <laughs> I have another uh, two and a half hours or something to go, I think. It's about 12 o'clock and only been taking like a 20 minute break or half an hour at the most. So that means that I've walked for four and a half hours. So that's about, be about 20. So two and a half hours, yeah, two to three hours, probably th close to three hours, three hours more. And all the French, yeah, the French people are walking fast. They're all ahead now. Windy day, quite cool. Not a lot of sun. It's peeking out once in a while, like now, and tomorrow I think, like she said in Inez that I walk with, that tomorrow maybe it's a good day to take a short one with, if possible. If Burgos is open and Castilla Long is open, then yeah, maybe that's a good idea to take a little bit of a rest day, because after today it's, I have walked about 125 in four days, or at least 120. So. We just threw some to the front tent. That was me with the same crew as last night, with others, I'm sure, because uh, it's sort of in the middle of nowhere, and there's the only place that would probably be full, which is good. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel tired, kind of tired, so definitely forward to arrive, but it's good to have companionship. So another 10, 11 to go, and that means that tomorrow in Burgos there's actually only, yeah, an average day, so, so that's really good. Uh, so either a short day tomorrow before Burgos or all the way into Burgos, which is, would make most sense, I think and then see if there's an alberque open or a hotel, it doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point. So uh, yeah, a couple of hours here and then should be uh, all good. So just around or less than two kilometers left, uh, heading into the forest here. We've been next to the forest all the time, I guess the last, since uh, Villafranca the place where I showed you the hostel I was in last time. I walked this way. Ooh. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be nice to finish. Been a really, been a long day. Uh, I'll arrive at three o'clock. So that means I've taken mm, probably 45 minute break in total maybe. So two hours and so two, four, fifteen. So that means I've walked for seven, a bit more than seven hours, seven and a half maybe. So yeah, it's gonna be about those 35, 37. And I feel it in my legs definitely. I feel, definitely feel quite strong. I mean, it's been good speed all day. And of course I'm used to it, but I always feel it more, of course, when you get up to the above 30. <laughs> it's hard to know what to do or trust in terms of tomorrow or with Burgos because I just passed a Spanish guy. Apparently I spoke the best Spanish I have on this trip. I was amazed by myself. <laughs> cool. But uh, he said that you can only walk through Bur Burgos, Burgos. So you cannot, there's nothing open as I was told yesterday. So <laughs> yeah, it's hard to know. I couldn't actually find anything either when I searched, searched last night. So I don't know. I don't know why uh, my friend there said, said that. So hard to know what to believe these days. What happens tomorrow? So tomorrow is either going to be as long of a day uh, because there is a albergue open 12 kilometers after Burgos. So that means another 37 tomorrow. Or 
a short one to uh, to a town before. And I think the way I feel right now, I think I would prefer that if there's any uh, if there's a decent spot. So. I mean, if, the thing is that, yes, we can pace ourselves the whole time and see if we can get get further because if, in, with the fear of things closing down, we're not in control of that. I'm trying to accept that I'm not in control of anything. <laughs> and uh, so it really doesn't matter how fast we walk because 10 or 20 kilometers extra one day or the other, I mean, that's not really gonna make any difference in terms of things closing or whatever. So uh, the most important thing right now is that we can walk through Burgos because that means that there's a long time to uh, Lyon. Uh, there's about 10 days, I think. And uh, it's the Masetta, so there shouldn't be any problem with places to stay there, I think. So I think as long as we are after Burgos, I think it's gonna be a nice Camino, uh, the middle part, and also a very important part, so. Yeah, so challenges we do, we walk, walking for the pilgrims of the world, I'll be happy to do that. And I feel motivated by, by thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Next is arrival. Hopefully that's going to be easy and that there is some food <laughs> for tonight. But uh, we are a bunch of people, so regardless, it's going to be nice for some company. So, good stuff. So... I made it to San Juan de Ortega. Yeah, long day. Could be just around the corner. Don't know what that means. Must be the Borgas. Hola. <laughs> is that is that there? Nice. Very nice place. Yeah, that looks really nice. So that is our hostel for the night. The speedy French guys. They have been here for uh, two hours probably. But, uh, <laughs> I think we are we are lucky. We are. Okay, because there's many? Or? No, no, because you will see inside, it's very nice, it's okay. very warm. Oh, nice. Cool atmosphere, like uh, in the mountains. 